Turning to embodiment, Edelman introduces the concept as follows, quote, All activities of the brain depend on signals to the brain from the body and from the brain to the body. The brain's maps and connections are altered not only by what you sense, but by how you move. In turn, the brain regulates fundamental biological functions of your body's organs in addition to controlling the motions and actions that guide your senses. These functions include fundamental aspects of sex, breathing, heartbeat, as well as the responses that accompany emotion, end quote. In the 1970s, two Chileans, Francesco Varilla and Umberto Maturana, incorporated the idea of mind and cognition as processes into the notion of mind as embodied. Their theory became known as the Santiago theory of cognition. Fritjof Capra summarizes it as follows, quote, The central insight of the Santiago theory is the identification of cognition, the process of knowing, with the process of life. Cognition according to Maturana and Varela, is the activity involved in the self-generation and self-perpetuation of living networks. In other words, cognition is the very process of life. The organizing activity of living systems at all levels of life is mental activity. The interactions of a living organism, plant, animal or human, with its environment are cognitive interactions. Thus, life and cognition are inseparably connected. Mind, or more accurately, mental activity, is imminent in matter at all levels of life. End quote. Varila and Maturana questioned the assumption of a pre-given world. Here they use the metaphor of a secret agent being parachuted into a foreign territory and then having to try and find out everything he can about it. On the contrary, in their view, the world is entirely perceiver codependent. Organism and environment co evolve together, influencing and being influenced by each other. Because organisms are very closely coupled by evolution to the environments they live in, such environments can never be foreign to them. In fact, the organism has a big part in creating its environment. Varela calls this bringing forth a world. Maturana took exactly the same position regarding the relationship between perception and external reality as the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. In other words, he insisted that our perceptions of what we observe are all that we can be certain about. It's therefore fruitless to speculate over the nature of the thing in itself, which may or may not cause the observation. <laughs> 